plaintiff, Pansy Edwards, says the defendant is her daughter, and she always starts problems with the family. Pansy claims after the defendant started a fight with her son, she called the police and claimed there were drugs and guns in the home. So the police kicked in her door. She's suing for the property damage, move-in costs, and pain and suffering. Defendant Precious Edwards says she loves her mother, but she does not agree with her lifestyle because she recently got pregnant by a 20-year-old man. Precious claims she called the police because her brother assaulted her, and the only reason he wasn't prosecuted is because she dropped the charges. She's countersuing for loans and emotional distress. Start with you. Um, my daughter Precious Edwards, she's 22 years old. Once she made 18, she began to be very disrespectful towards me. You know, she I found out she was messing with the neighbor upstairs who she has a baby by. And once he did things to her, she did things to us. Like what? What do you mean? Um, okay, like as far as like with her brother, she's a, she'll, she'll come in, when she's mad at him, she'll come and start a fight with somebody else. I was trying to break up a fight between them two and I almost got tased. Mm -hmm. You know, she tased. was over tased. And she was. Who had the taser? She did. Okay. Go and ahead. then I went to. That's better than the gun. Go ahead. <laughs> I went to his house because they came and they told me, come get my daughter from being at his mama house, tearing his mama house up. Uh, how often did or does she um, uh, disrupt the household as you describe it? Maybe like we'll get into it like three, four times a month. Really? Yeah, because she want to check me and tell me how I'm living or things. And I'm your mama. You not my mama. Yeah, she starts Man. by saying it's taste time. <laughs> That's right, does she come in with her taste draw? <laughs> you give me some background. My mother, like, she she wants me, like, I love my mother. My mother tells everybody I hate her. I have never had any hatred in my heart for my mother. That's my mother. You only get one mom. So at the end of the day, bottom line, I love my mom. But anyway, there are some choices that she has made, and I feel like that they were wrong. Like, she has stripper parties twice a month. I have pictures of these stripper parties and we've been living in the same neighborhood for about 10 years mm -hmm. like in different areas though so um i had a lot of friends in that neighborhood so one of the guys he's about 20 right now she was just pregnant by him like and she went to have an abortion but she didn't want to have a abortion. all right she's a cougar what else okay there's nothing wrong with being a cougar <laughs> i mean it's nothing wrong with being a cougar but when you involve me because she can go out in the neighborhood and do whatever she want but why with the people that i know a 20 year old friend of yours yes sir he gave her, he impregnated her, though. Yes, sir. Now, this man, 20 years old. What are you talking about? Uh, but, but What is she thing... doing to a 20-year-old that he didn't want to do? No, I'm not saying that it's something he didn't want to do. Lying. I'm not saying it's something he didn't want to do. I'm just saying how it affected me. Like, how? Because it was somebody, like, the whole neighborhood is coming to tell me, you know your mom is involved with this person and I, that's like embarrassing for me. These older women want them a young man. She's a cool girl. Accept it. That's fair. If, if uh -huh. your friend is running around and somebody criticizes, say, yeah, my mother just like him young. That's all. She's a cool girl. And that's in style now. Uh -huh. So talk, talk about him going with the cool girl. Don't uh -huh. talk about my mother. Damage. How did she damage the property? Okay. April of 2016, I was in the hospital and I received a call from Precious. She asked me where I was. I told her I was in the hospital. Moments later, I received calls saying Precious is at my residence starting an altercation with my oldest son. How old is he? Uh, 20. Um, so she called the police, had the police to come kick my door in, told the police that she lives at my residence, told them it was drugs and guns in my residence. So they kicked the door in, they tow everything up, they threw every. So once they tell me the police is kicking the door in, I get up immediately, leaves the hospital, and I come home. As I walk up to my residence, there's no door on the hinges. My 13 year old daughter is standing on the corner. Um, 
I, once I go in, I look around, I leave, I go to the police station because it was six people locked up in my house for trespass and she had everybody locked up. Plaintiff Pansy Edwards says her daughter, the defendant, lied to the police about Pansy having guns and drugs in her home. And as a result, the police broke down her door and arrested her son. Did they find anything? No. Yes. No. Yes, they did. I have the charges here. Yes, they have. He was charged, yeah. and I dropped the charges sure? only because... So she's about to show me something. Sir, now, tell they didn't me the find truth. nothing in the house, and I hear... You're a nice lady. I kind of like you, so tell me the truth before you get in trouble with me. I'm telling you. Seems like at... you've raised a nice uh, young lady. She's well kept, sounds intelligent, this... and um, uh, I don't know about your witness and, here, and but they, other than that, they... you seem Listen. everything seem all right. I'm just messing she with didn't... you. She didn't. But you are looking mean, lady. <laughs> talking to you. You see me talking to you. I'm looking so mean in my court. She didn't room. drop the charges. Everything was the case. I have wow. um, the Hold it. They I found the, something? Yes. The charges from what? No, yes. they charged him with beating her up. They, he said he hit a rifle and left with the rifle. But they threw everything out. I have a um, voicemail from the state's attorney that's saying, and I have the subpoena. Looking at it, ma'am. They charged him with a, uh, aggravated assault with a deadly with weapon. With a they rifle. They charge him with that unless they find found it. It was a rifle found? No, that's what she told him. It was I don't a know rifle. They wouldn't charge if they didn't find it gun. What started the mess? I didn't know that my mom was in the hospital. Um, I went to my mom's house just like uh, regularly I go to my mom's house. I went over there and I guess my brother was on the phone with my mother's witness, which is my aunt. No um, wonder she's so mad. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't really know what was going on. I walked in the door. My brother was in a room with his girlfriend. I didn't know what was going on. I just walked in the house. Uh, my aunt's boyfriend mm -hmm. uh, what opened, happened? He opened the door for me. He was talking to me. So when my brother heard my voice in the front room, he came out into the front room, but he was on the phone with my aunt. So I guess my aunt was telling my brother, I guess he was finding out the news that my mom was in the hospital too. So I was like, who in the hospital? He immediately jumped to defense. Like, okay. So then I stopped talking to him. Like she said, I got on the phone, I called my mom. So I was like, okay, mom, where you at? But then he started to yell at me while I'm still on the phone. I haven't even had the chance to hang up. So she hears us arguing and he was like, um, why are you calling her and she in the hospital? Are you raising her, no, you stressing her, you know? All right, so you all started arguing. Who throws the first blow? Him. I was sitting down on the couch. So he was like, he, okay, so he was on the phone. So you called the police about him assaulting you? Yes, sir. When did you see a gun? He point, he put me out the house with a gun. My shoes, my purse, everything was still in the house. He, he, he fought me, he dragged report? me through the house. No, sir. I wasn't able to get a I'm not, I don't live but in Chicago. But you have the arrest and the charges, ma'am. They charged him, and they only charge when there is a probable cause to believe that the crime was committed. Yes, Meaning the prosecutor looks at it, the prosecutor has to see enough evidence to determine whether it happened. They don't just go on her not. word. Now, you want to sue her for what the police did? Why haven't you sued the police? Because she gave them permission to kick in the door. They told me that I have to take it up with her. She That's told not them true. She no, there. if they destroyed your house without probable cause that a crime was committed, you have a very good lawsuit against them. Yes, sir. So it sounds like to me, you know, as I believe, that there was a gun there. And so they had a right to go in, even if she called them out of spite, even if she called them out of anger to get them back whatever the reason if the police go and they see a crime or find that there's been a crime committed they have every right now is there any history there of any other violence or weapons no. being found no no sir but my any other illegal activity at the no, house my brother my is involved is in it. my brother's involved in a lot of illegal activity he's a gang member he's in jail again right now he just was released from me dropping the charges on him he's in jail again he's been incarcerated since he was 16 but my thing my mother is mad at okay. me because I'm involved the police. I got the picture. All right. And mom, you got a right to love and stick up for your son best you can. Your counterclaim for unpaid loans and emotional no distresses for what? Um, in October of 2015, I loaned my mother $300 for rent. Um, We've been evicted all my life. We've been evicted. So my, when my mom came to me and asked me for help with rent, of course, I, I haven't lived with my mother since I had my son in 2014, but she asked me for help. So I lend a helping hand, which I normally do. Okay, that happened in October. She borrowed that money. She was supposed to pay me back in November. That was $300. She didn't pay me back in November, and then she came back in December for a loan for my sister. My sister, didn't. she didn't have money to buy anything for my sister for Christmas. She wanted to buy a hoverboard. You what know? else? 
uh, and then in uh, February of 2016, she borrowed a thousand dollars from me. She came to me. My brother was still incarcerated. She wanted to get him a lawyer, so she asked me to borrow the thousand dollars. I gave her the thousand dollars. And she, she hadn't she, paid anything back. No, nope. Your Honor, she's lying. She is lying. She never loaned me money. I got pictures of my baby Christmas where she got like three thousand dollars worth of stuff. Why did I need two hundred and fifty dollars from her, sir? I never borrow money right, from man, her. She sounded so convincing, though. I know that's and I. And <laughs> that girl never learned me money. Right now, too convincing, ma'am. We're talking about this thousand dollars. She said you borrowed uh, to get your son out in your March. Honor, she never gave me money in March to get my son out. Never. What my was he in for? He was in for assaulting another young woman with a uh, with a gun. Do you have any other evidence other than your testimony <laughs> about this money that you loaned her? Do you? No, sir. Doesn't seem like you do. So you haven't convinced me then. You don't have enough evidence to convince me you loaned her money. So, all right, you're off the hook on that, all right? Yes. But I'm not going to grant you a judgment about the property damage that the police committed because they had a right to go in based on her calling and what they found. And I can't grant you a judgment because she didn't destroy the house. All she did is call the police legitimately. Your case is dismissed and so is yours.